my inquiry project, I decided to ask the question, why would a person commit unethical actions with the knowledge of consequence? So I'm a relatively safe guy, you know, always abiding by the rules. Unlike my brother, though, who's always disobeying the rules and uh, disobeying my parents. So I would always question, why would you do that or if you're just stupid? So the first book I read was The Trial by Franz Kafka. So the ideas revealed throughout the book is that the protagonist, K, is struggling for dominance because he's in conflict with the law. So he would try and use people and manipulate them for his own advantage so he can appeal to the court and look better. The second book I read this trimester was The Fall by Albert Camus. The main character, Dean Baptist, was a man who has fallen from great power because he wanted to control how people thought of him because his biggest fear was being judged or being laughed at. He knew everyone was guilty of something, even himself, so he would try to escape this re reality from <coughs> to com by committing unethical actions. But a scene that really struck out to me was when he could have saved a drowning woman, but he didn't. He just let her die. This is really the turning point where Jean Baptist realizes that he's not as perfect as he thinks he is. So he does his thing by abusing a woman to deal with his pain. To deal with his pain. So, so he knows what he's doing is wrong. So in my opinion, it's completely natural to want power and control. Sometimes people can get a little greedy by wanting it in the moment right now. So this tends to lead to conflict and drives a person to commit crimes. But I believe there's a line that people will not cross, and that is murder. So one person I'm reminded of when I think of, when I think of uh, who did murder is Hitler. So Hitler was a man who wanted power and who had power and control. So as you all know, know, he killed millions of people. However, he argues he did it for his country he loves, Germany. So to set out, he set out goals to make himself better. I mean, he set out goals to make the country better. He made the economy better. He gave back the Germans' pride after World War I, and, and more. So the thing is, to decide whether or not his actions were right is, up, is completely up to you. But in my opinion, I think he, he did not go the right way. Bad idea. So some questions researchers ask is whether if you're born with the instinct to, make, to commit crimes, such as stealing or abuse, but most researchers believe that's not the case. It's, in most cases, it's the environment you grow up in or the people who influence you. So bottom line is, biology is not your destiny. Some ideas that researchers came up, some other ideas that researchers came up with is Sigmund Freud's idea of the pleasure principle, where people just want immediate satisfaction. They want it right now. So that also tends to lead people to go astray. Another one is Albert Bandier's theory on how people just pick it up after being exposed to it many times. So after exploring this question this whole trimester, I gained a completely better understanding on why people committed unethical actions. Whether it's for power or to better the world, that's, or if it's just they want control. I believe the reasoning behind the actions though is the most important thing that you should realize. To, and you guys have to decide whether it was smart or unethical. Thank you.